Crucially, this bill would ban co-living. Uh, it would simply not be permissible under uh, uh, the changes I'd be introducing here today. Uh, and we could, could get back to the business of actually producing good quality, affordable apartments that people want to live in. Would you be calling on other parties to back the, uh, the changes so co-living can uh, go ahead with? Uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Darrell O'Brien last week said that he would support legislation that achieved this end. So we're going to ask him to put his money where his mouth is and support our legislation. Uh, but also we feel that the, the way in which Minister Murphy has used these regulations has actually made the housing crisis worse. Uh, the first is it's pushed up the price of land, so developers in Dublin and Cork and Galway uh, now have much more valuable assets uh, and that means they can squeeze more developments onto their site, uh, which makes that accommodation even less affordable. But it also actively undermines good quality living. The most obvious one is co-living. Uh, the idea that it's appropriate to have living spaces of 12 square metres, which is what uh, the Minister's regulations have, but also he's reduced the, the size of studio apartments, uh, he's increased the number of studio apartments that you can have in uh, 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 rental development and in fact if you're building to rent there's no maximum number of studio apartments at all. He's reduced the amount of storage space, he's reduced the amount of car parking, uh, he's reduced the amount of dual aspect. So at a time when we're going to see more apartments being built they're going to be more expensive uh, uh, and have uh, uh, poor quality outcomes for people. So what does this bill do? The first is it repeals the original power that Alan Kelly introduced in the dying days of the Fine Gael Labour government, um, uh, the amendment of section 28 of the Planning and Development Act. Uh, and secondly, it repeals the two sets of uh, mandatory guidelines introduced by Owen Murphy, the apartments uh, and the building heights. Uh, this means that it's back to the original guidelines uh, which weren't mandatory, issued by the Department of 2015, and then local authorities such as Dublin City who want to have higher standards are free to do so subject to the democratic process of the City and County Development Plan.